Hello guys, um, as you can see we're doing this kind of bath scene, this is a really low res because I wanted to just render it out quickly, <coughs> excuse me I'm sick, um, so as you can see we've just got this bathtub and then it's filling up, now this bathtub, I didn't actually make that, it just comes with Cinema 4D if you get the architectural version, um, but I will show you how to make like a basic empty kind of cube type thing that will also work like this but I just thought this is a better way to do it um, so anyway so this is the thing but we just want to make a new new project um, so now if you if you don't so I'll show you how to get bathtub I used but if you don't have this then I'll show you another way of doing it but anyway so if you haven't gone into it it'll look like this so you want to go presets architectural edition and then you want to go into objects and then bath bathtubs and then I just use the ideal standard just double click on that and then it imports it in and ta-da we have a bathtub that you can just quickly render out voila so I'm just going to delete that for now oh dear deleted a portion of it um so if you don't have that another way you can do it is to scale down a normal cube grab this handle here and then stretch it out stretch it out a bit and then just hit this button here which is the select polygon tool click on the cube make it editable click on the top polygon and just hit backspace so then we just have a hollow cube so you can use that as well and then you can texture it um, so that's a way of doing it so I'm just going to use this so voila um, so now as I s probably read in the title but I haven't actually said we're going to be using a program called real flow um, I'm using RealFlow 4 and basically it's a really good way to do fluid simulation because I think that there is a way in Cinema 4D using um, the Metaball but I'm I'm not clued up on that yet as I've I'm actually still relatively a beginner but I just want to show you what I've learned and I think it's cool but anyway so I want to select this you just want to make a floor brilliant nothing thoroughly exciting in the bathtub with a floor um, you can do lighting and stuff later, but we just want this. Then, if you go onto the Real Flow website, um, let's quickly do that. Just type in Real Flow, and then it should come up. Here we go. Um, uh, sorry, I'm not really prepared for this today. This is I'm just doing it because um, a friend of mine's Beamy. You can go check out his YouTube channel. Asked um, for this, so I am doing this for you guys. Um, so you just want to go into demos and plugins, and you want to go through the whole thing, and then on the side will have the plugins. Um, so you just want to get when you've done it. So you just want to get um, you want to go to your thing. So you're going to want to do it for Cinema 4D, but it does work in 3D Max, Maya, Lightwave. It works in pretty much any decent, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> um, 3D animation software. So you're just going to want to go and download that plugin. And install it like we did the destruction one, and then you're gonna want to go plugins, next limit, real flow SD export. So you want to click on that. You want to say save all, and then on the out file, don't don't delete the .sd. Or if you do, make sure you put .sd at the end, otherwise it won't work. Just want to type in bath tub. That doesn't really matter, but you want to hit save, and then you want to extend this to 200 and this to 200. It's just better and it's also the default in RealFlow. So you want to hit save SD. Then what you want to do is you want to open up RealFlow. Here's actually when I did my test so I just want to say new project. Yes. So this is the thing you'll get so let's just type bathtub in our project name and hit create new project. Then this is not thoroughly important but I find it makes life a lot easier. Under scale you want to type 0.0, .0 five <coughs> excuse me then here click then hit import and then go to where you saved it I saved mine on my username there it is bathtub.sd then you just want to zoom out and you want to actually highlight everything and then do the scale again there we go sorry I kind of did the scale incorrectly you got to select everything and then do the scale so anyway here we go much smaller. Um, so it doesn't look very exciting. 
it's just a bathtub at the moment. Um, what you want to do is you want to click the this. This is like your well, these are your um, effectors and what I think they're called daemons or demons. Um, and you just want to hit gravity. Otherwise, it's just gonna float in all crazy directions. Then th this there there can't talk. These are emitters. So you want to just make a you can choose anyone, but let's just make a circular emitter. And then you get the circle. Here are your move tools. So that one's to move it. So if we just look at all our views here, move it up. I'm just looking in this view, although it is kind of hard to, to see. So if we grab our clicker. Ah, why am I not being able to look around the view? Oh, yeah, sorry. I'm being retarded today. Okay, let's zoom out. Sorry, I'm being an absolute retard. Um, so you just want to line that up. I may get a bit more fancy than I did the first time I did it round. Just so want to go here. Want to click back there. And move it over. So if you look, this is kind of where it's going to come out. Um, so you just want to try line that up. So you ret rotate. Excuse me. Uh, that should be interesting. Okay, so you just want to try rotate it flat, and then just move it into place. Oh god. I can't see what I'm doing. Oh dear. Let's just move this up so I can actually see a bit more. I don't know, this is kind of completely not needed, but I just think it'd be a little better to do it this way. Excuse me. And then you just want to scale it down. Oh dear. Okay, um, so after much unnecessarily faffing, all you need to do now is um, click this button here, which creates a mesh. This is quite important. And then you just want to hit simulate. So now you'll see. I think. Oh no, I haven't screwed it up entirely. Um, it looks a bit weird. Um, but you'll see the green stuff is basically the fluid. Now it looks like it is going through the surface, but we'll sort that out in Cinema 4D. This is it's not the end of the world. So don't worry, it always does that. Oh, well at least when I do it, so I'm sure people who actually know what they're doing in real flow could do a much better job. Um, but when we import it we're just gonna change the scale that this doesn't happen, that it's actually on the surface correctly. So just gonna want to wait for this to happen. I'm just gonna pause if I can remember how to. Aha, found it. So um I'm just gonna hit pause and then I will come back when it's finished simulating.